Hi everyone, it's Natasha, and I'm woefully behind in my finish project area. So I thought I would utilize today since I'm home having a health day. There's nothing wrong with me. I just needed some rest and relaxation. So I thought, mm, why don't I finish up some of these little projects? So what you see here is the one page mini and this is a two by two square I just rounded the top and I've had the bases created for a long time these are all um, I had created all of these for my design team um, members of Wild Arca Crafts and I finally took time uh, today to finish some of them up so I'm going to show you this green one and it's going to a Lassie whose birthday was just the other day. So what I've done is, um, and it's a one piece, and I'll include a link right here to the actual construction. I have a separate video of that, but these are the 15 millimeter mixed green roses. So I used one of those right here. And then the 15 millimeter, no, I'm sorry, that's a 15. This is the 10 millimeter of the mixed green and the like pale celadon so there's a couple on either side and then these which are really cool because they have the centers in a slightly different color green and then in the in the middle I have one of these cute little hard buckles which are BB triple zero sixty six I believe and all I did is to bring in this glittery ribbon that I used to create the closure into the cover. So I just slipped a piece of it and then just did the little fish tails on either end. And then as you can see, there's a little bit of shimmering. And that's all from these itty bitty tiny three sequins, which are even on the flower right here. Look at that. Isn't that cute? So let me show you how I did that because I think that's going to be the one question that I get asked. And these little sequins, I have a giant bag I've had for probably 10 years, if not more, probably more than 10 years. They're from Cartwright's Sequins. I'm not even sure if the store exists anymore. It was an online purchase. As you can see, I have an assortment of different colors and I have other projects, other minis that I'm going to be working on. But this one is in the fully cupped medium chartreuse and they were just one dollar a pack and these go a long way because you don't need a lot so I'm using my trusty wax tool and some scotch quick dry and I'm going to add the quick dry first to where I want to add a sequin so let's add one right here so I've just put a little dab of the glue and now with the tip of my wax stick I'm going to press down gently to pick up one of the sequins and then place it on top of the glue. You may need to either wiggle or stick your nail on it to release it but it will be set up because it's quick dry and this is much easier than using hot glue which would leave snotty trails and um, obviously you can't use the hot glue with your wax stick because you'll have a skewer. Literally, you'll have just a skewer left. <laughs> if you're having a hard time of something sitting flat, just flip your skewer, your hot stick, or your wax stick over and press down with the other end. Otherwise, pressing with this end will just make it stick to it. As you could tell, I even have an itty bitty little one right there on the heart slide. Wow, this camera really does focus nicely when it feels like it. So hopefully I don't have pre-op transgender voice today in this video. So I just wanted to give you a quick heads up that yes, I am working on finishing projects. And, um, oh, sorry, didn't mean to knock the camera. Once I finish, um, I think I might just add a couple of the tags inside and I think it's shimmery and pretty and um, I am going to look up to see whether this company still exists. It's the Cartwright Sequins and I have them in matte as well as this AB 
Aurora Borealis. That's the, what AB stands for in sequins and beading. And I'll include a link in the description below if they do exist. And um, there'll be close-up photographs on my blog of this completed project, along with a link to the construction video for these 2x2 minis and um, all the Wild Orga Crafts products that I've just shown you that I've used. Um, this I got from... Before I get asked, hold on one sec. Let me tell you to hold on. Like you can. <laughs> Whitestone rhinestones, and I got this on eBay a long, long time ago. Um, I have a whole little stash of them in there. I think they came in a 20 pack or a 10 pack, I don't even remember now. But there's the phone number. I, again, I don't know whether they exist or not as a company because it's been so long. But you might want to do a search on Whitestone Rhinestones on, you know, Google search to see if they are still around. Because they have some gorgeous Swarovski Rhinestones. These are real. Not plastic. And I saved those for really fancy schmancy projects. <laughs> So there you go. If you have any questions about any of the products that I used or any of the techniques, please leave me a comment and I will try my best to continue the, oh, you see my Jimmy. I have my Jimi Hendrix shirt on. <laughs> um, I will try my best to continue the March craft month daily project videos. Thanks for watching everyone.